Hey, thank you for tuning in to my Minds channel. This is Beezabub. And you can find me by using at the real Beezabub here in the Minds channel. I like to continue with my 31 phobias project. I'm on with number nine, the fear of electricity. And I don't mean, you no, know, you know, just afraid of, you know, getting shocked or whatever. No, I'm talking about plain old fear of electricity. I mean, afraid to turn on and off light switches. Now, electrophobia, the fear of electricity. The fear of electricity is called electrophobia. There is a wide line when the fear of electricity is involved. There's being overly cautious, and there's terribly horrified. So horrified that electrophobia can't even turn on a light switch for fear of being shocked or worse, electrocuted. Electrophobia is a common, specific phobia, and like most other common phobias, it was developed because of a traumatic, traumatic experience, either being shocked or seeing someone else being shocked, possibly electrocuted, can trigger a person to develop electrophobia. Developing electrophobia, common experience, is a common trigger that causes a person to become electrophobic is lightning. For some reason, some people are so terrified of it that they are considered to maybe suffering from astrophobia. Now, astrophobics, however, are, are able to turn on and off light switches, cook an electric stove, operate electrical appliances, whereas a person with extreme case of electrophobia, such tasks are impossible. Some sufferers can even look at a picture of a lightning bolt, let alone sit through a lightning storm. Another common cause that triggers someone into developing electrophobia, or at least become overly cautious of it, is the fear of being shocked, electrocuted while bathing, showering, even swimming in pools. And trust me, I know about this all too well. The most common people, the most common people develop electrophobia is by sticking something, usually a wire, into an electrical outlet. Everybody remembers being shocked. It's a dramatic experience. This can cause a person to develop electrophobia or to be overly cautious. But for most of us, it's a lesson well learned. Now, curing electrophobia, how to cure electrophobia? Well, it's not often a person gets cured from suffering from electrophobia, if at all. Even though people who suffer from astrophobia have a much higher chance of getting cured. Electrophobia can cause severe social problems that can affect you know, your daily life. Losing friends and jobs are just a few of the problems electrophobics can face. If an electrophobic doesn't seek help soon, they may have to resort to desperate measures just to survive. Now, on a personal fear of electricity, uh, not sure if it's fear or just a tremendous amount of respect, but the only thing I know about electricity is not to mess with it. Yes, I have been shocked, damn near electrocuted, if you ask me. See, I was 22, a roofer, and I worked all day in the sun. On the way home, I stopped for a beer at a local tavern for... A local tavern for one on the corner of Conkey and Jackson in Hammond, Indiana. Now, after a while, I thought it best to call my girlfriend and let her know that I will be a little late. You know, didn't have a cell phone, but luckily the tavern had a pay phone. The pay phone was located near the back door in a little room. Now, next to the pay phone was a refrigerator. A little shabby looking one, but it, it worked. Now, after I dialed the phone number, I grabbed the refrigerator door handle. Nothing happened at first. 
But after the third ring, my girlfriend answered, and I slid my hand down the door handle. When I got to the bottom, and before I could say hello, I started getting shocked. Violently. Now, I don't remember much, but I woke up on the floor with the refrigerator door wide open, and I was on my back. My legs were inside the refrigerator with everything on top of me. Now, I must have kicked everything out of the fridge, you know, when I was being shocked, or I should say electrocuted. Now, it seems the metal cord from the payphone was wrapped around my arm, and it served as a ground. I slid my hand down the fridge door handle to open, you know, to an open circuit, because it was wooden, you know, towards the bottom was metal. And I completed the current from the payphone cord. I remember this so dramatically, my fingernails were bleeding through the cubicles. The cuticles, I should say, I mean. Anyway, that's my story about electricity. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. And uh, if you don't mind, hit that uh, subscribe, follow, give that thumbs up. I appreciate it very much, man. Y'all have a good day.